Welcome back everyone to another Robo Review. Today I am going to bring you a review on a wireless gaming mouse. This time it is by Habit. This is the HV-MS988GT mouse. So this is going to be a 2000 DPI 2.4 gigahertz, like I said, wireless gaming mouse. So it's got a lot of features that are under the hood that, you know, they're not really quite apparent, but I, I'm going to try to go over most of them as I can. So first off, you know, it, it comes in the box, nothing special, just, you know, small little box, includes mouse. So I'll put that off to the side. It's got the instruction manual, which I did actually have to read over to see what all the different functions of this mouse that it had, because it, it does have more than... It, like first impressions that you would kind of realize. So anyhow, here it is. So first off, I'm going to show you there is, um, you can turn the light off completely. So it's got two switches on the bottom here. So one turns it on without lights. Second turns the lights on. So the other switch. This switch is between a 250 gigahertz as well as a 500 gigahertz speed. This is going to be the transmission speed between your the mouse and the dongle itself. It has a little Bluetooth dongle, which I'm going to pull out really quick and show you. So it's got one of these guys. If you want, you can even store it in the bottom of the mouse, which makes it really nice. So for traveling, that's... Uh, I find that very helpful. So uh, back to that speed. So that is going to be the transmission speed. So if you if you're really uh, a professional gamer and you're worried about that every last millisecond of a response rate, kick it up to the 500 speed, and you know you'll get more of a response. And I think that's probably going to drain your battery a little bit more. There's also a third switch, which you can switch it to a video control mode, which Changes the buttons around on a little bit, and you know, it's, I think instead of the uh, like these being you know a page up and page down, ends up being like a skip forward and skip back. Uh, all these the, those functions are in the manual. You can easily take a look, but I'm not too concerned myself with the actual uh, the video mode. I, I'm in it for the gaming mouse. So what I want to show you really quick here is get back down here. Okay, so we're into. Oh, we got to plug it in. That's why it's not staying lit. So let's plug it back in. There we go. Now we're lit up here again. So, okay, so just wanted to show you here the, there are different colors that this mouse can be, but those colors are in the, like they're indicative of the. DPI mode that the mouse is in. So right now I have it in blue, which is like the second mode. If you go to red, this is going to be, you know, a really fast mouse mode. And then if you go one more time, this is purple, which this is just like absolutely insane mode. Um, just twitching it just a little bit. It takes them from one side of the screen to the other. Back to green, this is kind of like your slow-mo mode, but I personally prefer it on blue myself. That is kind of the, the normal speed for me anyhow. So that is this button right here. You can change that DPI anytime you want in mid-game or, you know, out of game. It's you, it, you can use them whenever you want. So you got your left and mouse button, you got your middle mouse button, and you got your mouse wheel. One thing I find this really cool that I've never seen on a mouse before is this button here is like a double click button. So if you wanted to do like a double tap, something with like a pistol in a game, you just click this button and it's like a click click, click click, click click every time you click it once. So I find that pretty cool. So your side buttons here are your page up and page down. That's going to be outside of games. You can program those page up, page down buttons to be uh, keystrokes in whatever game you're playing as well. I'm going to stop spinning the mouse around here. Uh, stop playing with it. So anyhow, um, my impressions of it. I think it's very nice for a wireless gaming mouse. A lot of people are you know, dead set on having a wired mouse. Some people like the wireless, but you know what? 
they feel they're going to sacrifice some of the response between, because, you know, never going to have quite the same exact response as a wireless as you would a wired. But, you know, if you kick up to the 500 gigahertz mode, you're getting close. Um, you're getting very, very close. And, like, it's, for me, it's very hard to tell the difference, but... You know, and I play games like StarCraft, and, you know, I don't play a ton of first-person shooters. So, and I'm not, like, you know, an extreme professional. I play for fun. So, I don't really notice the difference, and I think it works amazing. So, you know what, for me, as a, you know, not a higher-up, top-end professional gamer, I'm going to give it a 10, or I'm sorry, a 5, five-star review. I like it. Um, I like the different features that it has, and it's you know right in the twenty dollar range. You can't go wrong for twenty bucks for you know a good wireless mouse like this. So, anyhow, that is my review, and I hope you liked it. Hope you find it informative, and I hope to see you in the future. Take care, everyone.